Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the Mario uh, FML series and in this video we are going to go ahead and and basically get started with the actual uh, drawing the Mario actual Mario instead of just a red box in on the screen so we are going to draw a Mario texture and in the last video we uh, learned how to draw the thing using a vertex array but in this video we are going to scrape up all we did and I'm going to show you another way which might be better to do this you can obviously still use vertex arrays if you want to and uh, that would work as well but since our Mario is basically plain square uh, you know it's not like uh, uh, going to be any other shape it's just going to be a square or rectangle so we can basically use sprites for that so we will do this using the sprite method first of all if I go under solution explorer you can see that uh, mm, I have got uh, a file here called mario.png which I just created in Photoshop and copied it over to this file and just right click and uh, go ahead and add and hit existing item and just select the Mario file so if I open this mario.png this is what it looks like and I'm going to remove this uh, grid here so you can see it a bit better so this is basically what we have got so now we just need to draw this to the screen so for that I'm going to go under mario.h and since we are not doing using the vertex array method what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in it here first of all let's add an sf column column texture called texture now what is a texture a texture is basically an image so the reason it's called a texture is because it's got a specific function which is that we are going to basically use this uh, image to apply it to a sprite and we'll discuss that in a second first of all we have got this texture here so uh, let's try to use that so in the mario.cp file i'm going to go under my constructor here and i'm going to go ahead and uh, essentially just go ahead and say texture dot load from file so this texture is already created and we're going to call the load from file method on it and we are going to load it from the file mario.png and uh, after we have done that uh, it should essentially basically uh, add a texture so basically this image is now loaded completely and we can use this image in whatever way we want so now we want to draw this image so we are going to go ahead and add an sf colon colon sprite here called sprite now what's a sprite is basically a textured rectangle so it's a rectangle that has got a texture on it so that's called a sprite so in order to create uh, in order to initialize the sprite we are going to go ahead and say sprite is equal to sf colon colon sprite and for the constructor we are going to pass in the texture which will create a sprite with that texture so that's pretty awesome and now we actually uh, need to draw this inside of the draw function so let's go in here and i'm going to go in and say just window dot draw sprite now let's go ahead and run the program and see what happens so as soon as the program actually starts what you should see is that we have got a very small mario at the top left corner of the screen now the reason that this Mario is so small is that if I close this and uh, I go under my mario.png file and you can go ahead and click this icon here to show the properties window which you can see it says that the image width and size is 16 by 16 pixels since this is just pixel art I made it 16 by 16 and uh, the reason it's causing a problem is because uh, it's actually using a size of just 16 by 16 to actually display the Mario on the screen which is obviously a bit problematic and another problem is that if I uh, run uh, you the sprite is always displayed in the top left corner regardless of my actual position so if I am actually pressing arrow keys and I am doing that right now then the actual rect uh, that we have got for the position is moving but the sprite is not showing that change so we need to first of all implement the uh, the position and then the uh, you know scale so first let's do the position so if I go ahead and say sprite dot set position and we can just give it rack dot left and rack dot top and we are doing that each time we draw the sprite so that should uh, do uh, deal with the position problem uh, you can see that our Mario is now moving but obviously it's still way too small and we don't want it to be that small we want it to be just the size of the rack that we have got so uh, in order to fix that let's uh, go ahead here and uh, what you should do what you can do is uh, you can essentially use a sprite dot set scale method to do that really easily now for that you might be tempted to do something like this just say sprite dot set scale and give it rec dot uh, width and rec dot height and that is uh, actually supposed to work but uh, uh, you can see that it won't work correctly because uh, uh, as soon as I run my program you should see that the Mario is way too large and not exactly at the right size so as soon as this starts uh, what you should see is that all right this is a way way too large and why is it this large well because this is essentially multiplying this by 16 because this is setting the scale not the absolute scale it's setting the relative scale 
which is relative to the original size of the image so if you divide this by 16 it should work but uh, we might have images of different size which uh, obviously is going to pose a problem since uh, we can't just hard code a value for each image so we can actually uh, fix this in a really easy way which is to just go ahead and say uh, divide this by if you go ahead and say texture so we have got our texture dot uh, if you go in here you can see it's got a function called get size and you can actually use x value here and you can divide the rectangle dot width and uh, uh, if you do that it should allow you to uh, basically get the size and do it correctly and uh, it will divide it by that depending on what the actual size is so it will make stuff really easy and we can do the same thing for the y axis but just say get size dot y and if i run that now we should see that we have got a absolutely correct size mario and we can also move it and uh, uh, yeah we've got pretty much working so now that we've got the mario drawing completely done in the next video we are going to start implementing the game which is going to be started by implementing gravity so yeah uh, stay tuned for that i will see you in the next video make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people uh, if you want to learn how to make game using c++ code and uh, i will see you in the next one and bye